सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड द बिल्डिंग दैट यू सी ऑन द राइट साइड इज बेसिकली द ड्राइव टेस्ट सेंटर एट टाउंस व्यू सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक आर टेस्ट एट द टाउंस व्यू ड्राइव टेस्ट सेंटर सो ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड यू कैन सी दैट देर आर सम पार्किंग स्लॉट्स सो वी आर बेसिकली गोइंग टू पार्क आवर कार इन वन ऑफ द पार्किंग स्लॉट एंड देन वी विल स्टार्ट टेकिंग आवर टेस्ट फ्रॉम देयर सो जस्ट गिव मी अ मोमेंट लेट मी पार्क माई कार फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सो आई एम जस्ट पार्किंग माई कार over here just give me a quick moment let me park it and then i will be back with you all right perfect so i just had to reverse it because there is a car that is parked next to me so i need to be careful that i do not hit that car so that is why i just uh, moved it in front now all right so if you see so i have parked my car and over here if you see on the right side there is an in uh examiner going on inside so this is the way that examiner goes in and comes out so make sure one thing that whenever you are in a drive test uh, you always park your car with your hood in the front aapka hamesha front facing hona chahiye taki aapko jab bahar nikalna ho parking slot se then it is easier for you to come out of the parking slot and ताकि क्योंकि जब भी एग्ज़ाम शुरू होता है तो थोड़े से नर्वस होते हैं सो इट्स बेटर कि हम फ्रंट पार्क करें ताकि हम फ्रंट निकल सकें सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द टेस्ट अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू रिमाइंड यू मेक श्योर दैट यू फुल्ली चेक योर कार यू चेक दैट ऑल योर हेड लाइट्स और योर ब्रेक लाइट्स आर वर्क द सिग्नल लाइट्स आर ऑल्सो वर्किंग ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट द रोड टेस्ट एंड नाउ द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट द एग्जामिनर विल टेल अस इज टू टेक अ राइट टर्न फ्राम हेयर सो वे वी हैव वी विल मूव आउट टूवर्ड्स द रोड फ्राम द पार्किंग स्लॉट So there is one person going in front of me. I will just wait for him to pass, and then I will start my car. So now I am going to give a signal, and then I will start driving my car. I will check all four sides. Charo side pe jaroor check kar le, because jab bhi aap car start karte hain, kahin se move karte hain. So it is very important you check all the sides, and then you slowly start moving. Aaj Saturday hai, to isliye thoda kam rush hai. Usually when you come from Monday to Friday, thoda jada rush hota hai. Uh, we'll discuss that later on. Now the first thing is if you see there is a line in front of me a yellow line which says that it's a stop sign so i have to give my signal take it a stop and then i have to turn left from here towards the main road so i will just uh, stop for 3 seconds and then i will turn towards the left so now i am going towards the road and then again there is a stop sign very big stop sign written in front of me and then i need to be very careful बिकॉज यहाँ पर क्या होता है कभी कभी कि ट्रैफिक नहीं दिखता है सो so, अगर आपको ट्रैफिक नहीं दिख रहा है तो so आप थोड़ा सा क्रीप इन कर लें क्योंकि राइट right साइड में आपके रेलवे क्रॉसिंग है सो so, बहुत बार ऐसा होता है कि रेलवे क्रॉसिंग से जो ट्रैफिक आ रहा होता है वो हमें नहीं विजिबल होता है सो बी वेरी केयरफुल दैट वेन ए यू टेक वेन यू नीड टू टेक आ लेफ्ट टर्न सो नाउ सी आई एम टेकिंग लेफ्ट टर्न सो दे वर टू कार्स विच आई जस्ट पास्ट एंड नाउ आई एम मूविंग टूवर्ड्स सो ओवर हेयर द स्पीड लिमिट इज थर्टी किलोमीटर पर आवर so make sure you maintain the speed limit stay around 30 31 not more than that and this is a tricky stop sign because yahan pe do to main road hai jo aamne samne wali hai aur uske alawa jo do hai wo side roads hai one is coming out of the parking and the second one is coming from the back of the uh, drive test center to aisa lagta nahi hai ki wahan se koi traffic aayega ya unka stop sign hoga but be very careful of this stop sign and now whenever there is an intersection always check left right left cross it and then there is another stop sign that is coming in front of me so ye wala jo stop sign hai ye three way stop sign hai so yahan pe teen side se traffic aata hai so that is why always not return so stop on the stop sign wait for your turn whenever you have arrived whoever is arrived first will go first and then check your blind spot and then take a turn once i cross the second stop sign in front of me i will see a Once I stop the second stop sign, I will see a pedestrian crossing. So I need to be very careful of this pedestrian crossing. And then examiner will ask me to take the right lane because we are turning right from here to the main road, which is Shepherd Avenue. So now we need to be very careful of our speed. Go to the intersection. So fortunately, the light is green, so it's easier for me to take a turn. Oops, it's a turn yellow, so I will just stop. Wait, treat it as a stop sign, and then I will go. so as it was yellow so i immediately stopped and now i think so there is no no one has turned uh, like the traffic is not moving because their light is still red so i am moving it now over here the speed limit is 50 km per hour so we reach the speed and then examiner will ask us to change the lane to the left so once i am at the speed i will change the lane to the left and now i am in the left lane and then i will drive on the left lane for some time and when uh, so examiner may ask us that if it is safe to do so 
you can change the lane again to the right and then to the left or examiner may ask you to stay in this lane so now we will cross the one red light which is of the Tuscan road so we'll cross that red light and we will go straight from here and then from the next signal the examiner will ask us to turn left so when you have to turn left make sure we do not cross the yellow line so uh, make sure that and also the solid white line you should not cross right now the time on the clock is like around six seconds so i guess and there is no traffic so i can easily take a turn otherwise if there is a traffic then i need to come and stop in the intersection and then i will uh, wait for my turn so now i am in the industrial area and over here the speed limit is uh, 40 kilometers per hour so it is uh, the industrial area over here so i will go straight and then the examiner will ask me to turn left from the St. Regis Crescent. So I will maintain my speed limit and now the speed limit has changed to 30 km per hour. But that is just ahead of this uh, turn where I have to take towards St. Regis Crescent. So I will take my turn since it's a Saturday, no traffic. So I will take this turn. And now you can see a couple of cars are also doing some practice. Now if there is a car parked over here, the examiner will ask us to do a parallel parking. If there is no car park, in that case, examiner will ask us to perform a roadside stop so we are going to perform a roadside stop now and or, or, or let's do first a parallel parking just uh, next to this so let's say i'm doing a parallel parking so i will give my indicator and then making sure the distance between me and the vehicle is like around three feet so i will stop around that i will put my car in reverse i will give the indicator so i will turn my car 45 degrees and then i will go straight straight back into the gap and once i feel that there is a little gap left and then i will turn back my steering and this is the way to parallel to parallel park the vehicle so now if we talk about a roadside stop so the examiner will ask us to make a roadside stop over here or somewhere else so let's move a little forward and then do a roadside stop so i will just make some more space and then I will give signal and then I will check all the areas across the car and then I will start moving slowly and now see there's a car coming but yeah I have some space so I will go ahead so now I am going to do a roadside stop so roadside stop again is basically you have to give a signal give your signal and then stop on the side of the road and then turn the signal off now it depends the examiner will ask you to do uphill parking or a downhill parking so if it is uphill then make sure you turn your uh, steering wheel to the left and if it is downhill parking turn your steering wheel to the right accordingly we can do that switch off the ignition and move your car to the parking so once you have done this maneuver your roadside stop is complete and then examiner will ask you to take a three point turn so we will turn on the ignition we'll put our, put our car in the uh, down gear and then we will try to scan the complete car around us what is happening if there is no traffic give the signal and then turn full left and uh, come in the middle of the road then change the gear to reverse again scan complete uh, complete area around the car and then give signal and then move back and then again give signal and then scan the area and then turn it so now we are again on the St. Crescent Resin we have taken a u-turn and then we are going back towards the drive test center so we have uh, completed a few maneuvers we have done parallel parking we have done roadside stop and now we are going back towards the drive test center so again this road sent regis crescent is of 30 so we have just uh, come out of this road and now we are taking from the stop sign we are taking right so now make sure there is no line so that means we have to stop just before the curb and see if there is any traffic coming so yes there are a few cars around me so i will wait for my turn and now as the car has passed so i will take a right turn and now I will speed up to uh, 50 kilometers because yeah, this area doesn't have a speed sign. That means it's 50 kilometers per hour. So I will move, speed up my car to 50 kilometers. And then I will go straight to the red light, which is Shefford Avenue. And then examiner will tell me to change the lane to the right because we have to take a turn. So we are going to change the lane. And now there is a truck in front of me who is also taking right. So waiting for the turn and then taking right. And now as it's a right right, so I will consider this as a stop sign. But now the light has turned green so i will take a turn and then i will change the lane because this truck is i don't know why it's not moving 
So let's change the lane and then speed up to 50 kilometers per hour. So this is a G2 route and then the examiner will ask us maybe to make a couple of lane changes. Let's do that now. And now the light in front of us has turned uh, red. So we have to stop over here in the second lane obviously because we have just changed the lane. Make sure even though if examiner asks you to change the lane, so aap intersection ke beech mein lane nahi change kare. Aap intersection se pehle change kare ya intersection ke baad change kare. Jaise main aapko apna experience batata hu, G test mein mere saath kya hua tha? Ki examiner ne mujhe lane change karne ke liye bola tha. Ki when let change the lane when it is safe to do so. But kyunki uh, us samay traffic aa raha tha, so I was not able to change the lane. So I waited and by the time the traffic was clear, mere piche koi gaadi nahi thi dusri lane mein. It was safe. So by that time, basically, we reached the intersection. Pe gaye. So it was very close to the. I was very close to the intersection. So when examiner ko bol diya ki, I'm like, I will change the lane after the intersection. So he took it as a positive point because we intersection ke beech mein lane cross nahi karte. Now as the light has turned green, accelerate to 50 kilometers per hour and maintain your speed. And now I'm going to change the lane to the left because from the next red light we have to take a left towards the drive test center. So maintain your speed around 50 do not try to accelerate above that and move straight on Sheffield Avenue and then the examiner will ask us to change the lane to the left because we are taking left from here so now we are turning towards the drive test center on John Drury Street so now I will go in the middle of the intersection and wait for my turn so I can see that uh, okay so there is no car that is going straight but still there is only one lane on the right side so on the left side so i need to wait for them to pass and now there are a couple of cars coming in front of me so i will wait for them to pass and then i will turn so test pay cheech jo aapko bilkul dhyan rakhni hai wo ye hai ki make sure kariye ki intersection ke beech mein ek hi car hai koi do car intersection ke beech mein nahi hai now again we have pedestal crossing the same pedestal crossing make sure you look left right do not do not decrease your speed do not decrease your speed and now from here we have to turn left again we have reached that three-way signal so this is Carl Hall Road so we are turning right and then we have to wait for our turn so I guess there is no traffic so we can directly turn Achha, ek aur cheez par hoti hai, jo aapko rakhni hai, jo ke liye important hai kyunki ye halka sa road jo hai, wo turn par hai. so what happens ki jaise main thoda sa pehle signal kar deta hon, to jab tak main intersection pe pahunchta hon, mera signal apne aap auto off ho jata hai, auto off ho jata hai so make sure that aap usko dubare uh, signal de de kyunki varna wo possible hai ki wo off ho jai thik hai, now again we are at the four way stop which is just outside our drive test center so yahan pe kya hai, agar aap dekh rahe ho dono side se to parking se bhi gaadi aati hai so we need to be very careful about that ki koi parking se gaadi nahi aari hai, four way treat kare, charo taraf scan kare aur uh, first come first out wala hai system, jo pehle gaadi aegi, wo pehle jai and now from this sign we have to turn right towards the drive test center so we will keep towards the right curb and then we will take a right check your blind spot check your mirrors every 5 to 10 seconds and uh, okay so now we have our stop sign so we have to treat is stop for 3 seconds and then we have to proceed now examiner will take us to a little back side and then ask us to do a reverse parking so let's say we have to turn right from here and then examiner has maybe asked us to park on the right side of the road so let's say we are going to park on this slot so now i will go a little in front and then i will turn my uh, car full swing back take a turn so make sure that i am not crossing the any lines and yes so and then i can do a a back parking and once I complete the back parking and then examiner will also ask me to do a front parking which is a step over here so I will go and I will do a front parking let's say the examiner has asked us to do front parking on the second left slot so we will do a front parking over here and then examiner will ask us to switch off the ignition and park the vehicle so this is how we give our G2 test guys I hope this route was useful for you Go through this video at least three to four times and remember what we have to do. Make sure that you make all the observation. The 70% of the skills is observation skills and 30% is your driving skills. I'm pretty sure that if you are home country, then you have driving skills. So make sure you make a good observation skills. If you like the content of the video, please like my video and share it with your friends and family. Hope to speak to you soon on another G route or any other information video that I have coming up in the next week. 
Bye-bye.